Now, before we enter fully into the day of the saints, there must be an exodus out of religion. Many religious institutions called churches will not be able to make the transition. And of course, when anything can't adapt or transition, it dies. Thus, there will be many churches that will die, but others that have spiritual leaders that embrace the kingdom and the ecclesia will be able to transition from a church mentality to an ecclesia mentality. But this will require a total departure from that which is religious. This means our gatherings must change. If you are a spiritual leader, I strongly encourage you to begin renewing your mind now and making the shift because this is where King Jesus is going. This move is happening whether we like it or not, and all who resist it will be left behind. And make no mistake about it, those who are left behind will become relics and museums where the presence of God perhaps used to be, but is no longer, because the cloud has moved. Now, if you have been following this teaching, you know that Jesus never established the religious institution called church. That was something that man created while perpetrating a great fraud of translation on the body of Christ by telling us that Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church in Matthew 16, 18. When Jesus never said anything of the kind, a church is a building where religious services are held. Jesus never, ever said he was going to build a physical building or gathering place. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my ecclesia, my legislative governing body of believers in the earth. So for over four centuries, this fraudulent translation has misled God's people but no longer. Jesus is emphasizing and building his ecclesia. This automatically means that as the cloud moves, everyone who is paying attention to the king will also be moving. So there will be a great exodus from the religious institution called church into the kingdom's ecclesia. And any ministry who does not embrace what the king is saying and doing will be left behind because the stakes are too high and lives as well as the eternal destinations of many people hang in the balance. Now, while I vowed that I would never do church again, it does not mean that I've forsaken the gatherings. First of all, it's important to understand that God wants us to do two things. Small home group gatherings where we are gathering together as a small group and fulfilling the mandate of the book of Acts. And secondly, the large gatherings which are done not from a religious perspective, but rather from a kingdom and ecclesia perspective. So, just as I continue to assemble myself with my local body of believers, I strongly recommend that you do as well. But you want to find a ministry that embraces first and foremost the kingdom. If they truly embrace the kingdom, they will embrace the ecclesia and what King Jesus is doing in the earth now. This is the kind of ministry that you want to assemble yourself with. So if you have been in a dead-end church that's, that's steeped in religion and is not even trying to align itself with the kingdom, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So I encourage you to seek the Lord and begin looking for where he wants you to be assembled. But by all means, if this message is resonating in your spirit, it's time to leave church so that you can become the ecclesia. But leaving church 
is not just a matter of geography. Leaving church, first and foremost, is a matter of mindset, especially for those like me who have been in the church for years. If you've been in the church for years, you have unintentionally been indoctrinated with religion. In most cases, it, it, it wasn't your pastor's fault per se, because they were also indoctrinated and were simply doing the only thing that they knew to do. As I've said before, the fault is the King James translators and the religious structure behind it. But this doesn't change the fact that you have to be deprogrammed from religion. The best way to do this is to immerse yourself in reading the New Testament with the ecclesia on your mind or ecclesia glasses on and ask Holy Spirit to give you revelation insight. Additionally, I would recommend that you purchase a number of books that will teach you about both the kingdom and the ecclesia. I'll actually put some recommended books in the description below, including a wonderful book by an amazing author named Tim Kurtz, who wrote a book entitled Leaving Church, Becoming Ecclesia. Well, that's going to do it for me today. If this has been a blessing to you, and I, I pray that it has, give it a thumbs up. Also, please visit our website at heavenculture.co and join our Heaven Culture community. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to continuing this journey with you.